I would like, if I may, to do... And now for something completely different. Alrighty, it is cold. Uh, hasn't snowed since yesterday. There was a little bit going on. Had to take a day off. We had uh, family things to deal with, uh, doctor's appointments. We had tag team doctor's appointments yesterday. It was mom and dad in the morning and my sister in the afternoon. And now it looks like we have to plan at least two or more days next week. My sister has to go in for two different surgeries and biopsies and we're going to keep our fingers crossed on all that and uh, hope the universe will allow us to get through it, see the other side and uh, go on. It seems the older that we get you know, uh, for myself, been dealing with in and out of the hospital since I was five when I had my first tumors and then the uh, head injury accident. And it's just been about every five to six years after that, it's been operation after operation after tumor, after exploratory, after treatment, after chemo, after heart, after liver, <laughs> after bone. <laughs> and, uh, so is it, for myself, I mean, I don't know anything really any different. It, it doesn't make it any less uh, disappointing and or taxing on me, but uh, at least for myself, that's what I've known ever since I can basically remember. But I hate to see family members and friends and stuff as we get older go through all that. But it is the society that we have, it is the chemicals that we've consumed, it's the poisoning we have put out into the world, and the universe says, hey, remember this, and then we get a little point on it. But things happen, and we do what we can, and we go on, but I really am hoping that uh, they don't have too much stuff, and we'll see from there. The gopher. <laughs> is frozen to the ground. There we go. I wiggled it back and forth and got it broke loose. Uh, I tried kicking the tires and moving those and they wouldn't they wouldn't come loose, but that looks like we got it broke loose now, so we'll be good there. Got to make a uh, make a stop at the gas station on the way in and then we'll uh, tool on in, start the day and uh, no, play the playback on the answering machine. That's always a joy. People in a panic. My computer stopped. I've got payroll. I need to do this. And my question is, did you back it up like I told you? And they'll always say, I was going to, but no. Then they want me to try and recover data for their payroll and or hours that they put in. Because a lot of the people that get computers from us uh, work for organizations that require that they do all of their payroll claiming hours and just data storage uh, online and without a PC. And then they go to get a PC and they're looking at, you know, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars when we can get them one for less than a hundred dollars full set and it'll function and do everything they need to do for years if they take care of it and maintain it. And as I suggest, back things up off from the computer. But, you know, we'll, we'll get them straightened out and settled and stuff. And, and I keep telling them, and they keep going, oh, no, you can't quit. And I keep telling them, you got about two more years maximum. And uh, sometime between now and two more years, it's just, I'm, I just got to phase this out. Because, like I said, getting older, getting, uh, getting to where I really want to do a little bit more running around, there are some people that I want to visit and things I want to do. So if I can get myself clear enough to get the flossy trike running in some type of a daily capacity, uh, I'll have the gopher for all of my short hauls and the flossy trike for my longer hauls. And if I can borrow the Jimmy truck, 
Um, I'll take the flossy on even longer hauls. I'll drag it to wherever and then that way I can ride around within 100 miles wherever I go. I would love to make that trip down, uh, go east on 40 and then west on 40, make that trip. One year do uh, the east trip, one year do the west trip. Just uh, take the truck, haul the flossy every 400 miles, stay there a day or two, and then go another 400 miles, and then stay there a day or two, and just ride around and film everything, and just kind of make a, you know, maybe a two-month road trip uh, each way. But we'll see how it all holds up. Not sure still where the finances are going to come from to do all that, but we will see. <laughs> this really isn't much of a uh, story time as it is just a reflection on life in general for me. For me, my family, whatever. So, not that anybody will be interesting, but it's just something that if I put it out there, it'll be out there. Unless YouTube starts to, not only with their crazy demonetizing uh, thing they're doing, if you're not up to a certain level, if you're not at a certain level as a YouTuber, we're just going to not pay you. How are you going to get to that certain level? The cost and sheer things of just cameras and uh, hardware, software, and things to do that everybody wants to uh, uh, expect at a level. How are you going to get to that level without any money coming in from YouTube to do it to begin with? So... That's why I'm not monetizing any of my stuff. That was really a crazy, crazy thing that they're doing. I'm still not 100% sure on how they said or think it's supposed to work. But uh, for myself, I'll figure out some way, sell something. They can't take my blood because of all the problems I have. So I can't make a, what is it, $100 every other, every other month or something like that. $150 every other month. I know a lot of guys that come into the store, uh, when I, we were in the Springfield store, they used to sell their blood on a regular basis, and I'm going, I hope I never get your guys' blood, because most of the time they went in, there was enough chemicals in their blood, because <laughs> that was what they were doing. They were just turning it back into alcohol and chemicals again when they, uh, as soon as they got their money, but we'll see. I'll figure out some way. I don't have or own anything worthwhile. Maybe I can work out some type of deal where I can just, if I can just get lodging fee and gas money and advertise or do some type of thing, we'll, we'll figure that all out. But uh, for now, Gopher's uh, doing good. We're going to get the lights on. We're going to get the heat blowing. Oh, look at that. Oh, marvelous. And uh, we're going to get rolling. We're going to see what the day will bring. Hopefully all of the issues will be taken care of. The universe will take it in, cleanse it, and return it to us. We're hoping. We're hoping. Let's ride. are doing today. Oh, Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. See you later. Oh. Got all kinds of uh, icicles and dingle dangles hanging off of her and stuff from all this weather. the lights are working still even though they were covered and packed in ice that's good all right we got that taken care of we are going 
going to get in, finish this ride, and see what the day will bring. start our day answer all the emergency phone calls that I know are got to be there and uh, help as many people out as we can do what we can put back out into the world and just have fun doing it I'm gonna go in here and do my thing y'all take care of each other do your thing see ya damn that was annoying I don't get what <laughs>